we're just at Tamara Beach uh, at this ramp here, and we're performing an experiment. Uh, this skateboarder over here wants to know if he can start at the height of the ramp uh, at the very top and get to the other side higher than his initial starting point. To accomplish this, uh, should the skateboarder bend his legs at the top and straighten them at the bottom? Should he keep his legs straight at the top and then bend them at the bottom? Or should he keep his legs the same length the entire time? So, for the videos, we see that when I start off with my legs straight and then bend them at the bottom, I reach the lowest height. When I keep my legs the same the whole time, we see that my height is very similar. It's a little bit lower, but that's because of friction. And then finally, when I start off with my legs bent and then straighten them at the bottom, I reach the highest height. But, why? Alright, so when Logan starts with his legs bent, then straightens him out at the bottom, he goes higher than his initial height. This can be explained by Newton's third law. Newton's third law tells us that for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. When Logan straightens his legs, he applies a force on the ramp, which means the ramp exerts a force equal in magnitude back on Logan. This leads to an increase in centripetal force, and therefore an increase in centripetal acceleration. Since the radius and mass are constant throughout all trials, when the centripetal force is greater, the velocity must be greater. When he is at the bottom, Logan only has kinetic energy, and at the top, he only has potential energy. This kinetic energy is converted to potential energy when he goes up the other side. According to the law of conservation of energy, one half mv squared must equal mass times gravity times height. So, if mass and gravity are constant, but the velocity is greater, the final height will be greater. When Logan starts with his legs straight and then bends them in the transition, he absorbs the forces applied to him by the ramp. By doing so, he decreases acceleration, which will decrease his velocity. When Logan keeps his legs the same length the entire time, he is not exerting an extra force on the ramp. Since there is no extra force, the change in energy is zero. In the formula, 1 half mv squared equals mgh, v squared is proportional to h. And if the end velocity is equal to the initial velocity, the height will be the same.